Hi and welcome. My name is Flossie. This is my tiny home, Siren the Step Fan. I am a filmmaker and, if you didn't know this, I'm also a freediver. In my playlists, I have a couple of uh, freediving playlists, all of underwater footage. And this last couple years, I have been making an underwater film. It's a short film um, about a group of people who swim in the ocean all year round. And the story of building that relationship with the ocean and therefore understanding and caring for it. I really wanted to take you on an adventure of what it's like as somebody who lives in a tiny home, lives in a van on the road, I put out weekly YouTube videos, but I am also, now I think I can officially call myself a filmmaker, which is a really big deal. I made my very first film a couple years ago, and it doesn't seem that long ago, but I have been touring it around film festivals lately, and I wanted to share with you what some of those experiences are like. Welcome to British Columbia summer. It's raining as you can hear. I just woke up. I just woke up. <sighs> I was up really late last night editing. So I put out one video a week on YouTube, generally every Wednesday. At the moment, I am editing my very first documentary. I'm making a documentary about the group of older women who swim on the island and have been swimming for the last 20 years and they swim all year round. So it's my first documentary and it's exciting to be editing it, but today is Thursday. I, it's, today's Thursday the 9th. It screens on June 22nd and that's not finished yet. And top it off, I'm hoping I'll get about to get a version of it into the San Francisco Underwater Film Festival. And the deadline for that is next Wednesday. So I'm in a little bit of editing spree. It's a lot and I'm, I think I just woke up grumpy this morning. I'm really excited to share with you a few of these behind the scenes from my documentary. The documentary took so much effort and it was such an exciting thing to have my own premiere and to sell out an entire little theater. Uh, I'm very excited that I'll soon, 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 here's a little bit more of behind the scenes, the, la the day or two leading up to the screening, getting everything ready. Time to go for a bike ride. Octahat's coming with me. Uh, the first one is nine minutes. First piece is nine minutes. The second piece is about eight minutes, okay. and the third piece is about 15. Admire all of us that do it, so I could never do that, but good for you. And other people just shiver and go, whoa, oh, oh, too cold for me. I don't like being cold. <laughs> uh, 
these flowers up here are the flowers I got gifted at the end of my documentary from the seals to say a big thank you and I thought I am becoming one with the Kraken this is Octo Hat Octo Set Hat says go with the flow Oh my god, I'm driving the van in the snow for the first time! I am going to a film festival over on the other island and I need to get there tonight for a Meet the Filmmakers event. And it's going to be an interesting ride to get out of here. Wish me luck. This is insane! give it a go and try but let's see let's see if it makes it up the hill this time this is what I mean this is like 25% grade downhill and around I made it I made it I made it I made it this is crazy I should be fine from here there's no more big uphills <laughs> I got up the big <sighs> I had my sweetie come and follow me up the hill to make sure that I got through safely and I wasn't stuck somewhere. They didn't come up the big hill because they weren't sure that they would make it. I'm going down to the hill now to tell them that I made it past. Everything is okay. I can get out from here. I'll get to the ferry. I'll get to the film festival. This is the most adventurous adventure getting to a film festival. Ah, I was talking only a little while ago that I needed to get more practice driving my big vehicle in slippery snow conditions. Well, here we are. There's a Meet the Filmmakers networking event tonight and I'm so excited that I get to make it. I did it. I got up the hill. I'm going to go now see if I can see any of my squirrely prints. Luckily a kayak came the other way just as I got to the top, not halfway down, so I was able to drive up the middle of the road, have more traction because it's a hill and it turns at the same time. So, all is well. I did it. <sighs> this is crazy. And look, there's even a little frozen lake right there. Okay, let's not let any more snow accumulate on the windscreen. Let's get on the road. Well, I thought we were gonna get on the road. Look, nothing, nada. Turn the headlights on, no lights. I'm just gonna go and check the battery connection. Why is living in a van always this dramatic? I didn't want this, we were gonna go. And I mean, this is the first drive. just check the battery so the negative thing was loose and the battery was all bounced up so I've squeezed that back on again it's not really attached very well it needs retightening let me go check now hopefully that's all it is because there wasn't registering any power and it's been readily turned on 
There we go. It was just a loose battery connection. Oh my God. It pays to know your vehicle, like. <sighs> okay, now I need to defrost my windscreen. Note to self, get a spanner and tighten my windscreen connections. Not my windscreen, sorry. My battery connections, because yeah, it started, but it may not be charging the battery if the battery terminal is loose. <sighs> okay, let's go before any more snow accumulates on this road. I'm gonna clean my glasses so I can see, and then we're going. And tonight, my film will screen at the Tofino Whale Festival. So I'm really excited about that. <sighs> what an adventure. <sighs> and we decided to follow um, the course of the a year in the ocean. So we started filming on World Ocean Day 2021 to 2022 and didn't know what was going to happen at, through the course of the year. So there's a little story about that. Um, and this is the seventh screening worldwide that it's had. And this is oh. the second one that I've actually been able to go to. So oh, it's nice. really special. And to bring a bunch of the seals to see it too. <laughs> <laughs> history of why it began, like when it began? There's 30 plus oh, people, wow. um, mostly female, but not exclusively. And why it began? Yeah, the one person who was reading her poetry uh, in, in the movie, she was the one that started it and she was having some medical issues and decided that the cold water and movement mm -hmm. might be good. And then she started it and then people started joining in. So 20 years, I think it's 22 years 20, now. Yeah, yeah, 23 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Bravo, bravo, ladies, ladies, ladies. But I wanted to ask, what villa leader is your wetsuit smoking? Uh, Are they six? 
So I dive in a seven spear fishing, so it's double layer over the, um, cause I do a lot of free diving. Most of the film is free diving. Um, but all of the seals have, most of the seals have multiple wetsuits. So <laughs> depending on the season, depending on the thickness of the wetsuit yeah. from seven to three. And during this heat dome, we were swimming without wetsuits. It was so hot. The water was like bathtub water around Salt Spring. It was really sad because it really affected. And there was two king tides at the time. So we had really, really low tide and really, really hot weather. And it just baked everything. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. We still have to do tomorrow. I have a film screening for my film, The Fellowship of the Sea, which I'm very excited about. It is part of the Salt Spring Arts Council um, art show, artist exchange called Archipelago, which is really so cool. The whole, the whole event is around events, art about the ocean, the Salish Sea, which is the sea that the Gulf Islands and Vancouver Island are adjacent to. So that is on Thursday and I'm very excited about that. Oh, sunset. Look, that's me! We are testing. That's the mic for that. Archipelago, this um, contemporary art of the Salish Sea, is a project that's been um, in the dream and planning stages for over three years. And it's an international exhibition. This is one of three exhibitions that are part of Archipelago. So this exhibition here is the Southern Gulf Island artists. Over at Art Spring right now, we have um, the six San Juan Island artists. So there's this beautiful cultural exchange that uh, we put together, along with Art Spring and the San Juan Islands Museum of Art. And she reached out together with Flossie about a film they were working on, and they actually um, got a project grant through our grants and awards to help some of the some of the costs associated with the film. And um, so it's really exciting when when you know months later, I don't know how long it took, but but they came and they showed us the the documentary that they made, and it's stunning. And we really wanted to bring in um, different um, art forms, film, for example, into the Spring Art Show. This was a great gateway, so we've got a little bit of that. But then in talking about the seals and who they are and what they do, we just got really excited putting together this evening. Not know how many people were turning up and then see a room full of full seats. Thank you very much for all being here. Oh. Then very shortly thereafter, everybody else was observing the same disease. This year was challenging. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed that. That was such a joy to make. We film almost every day for a whole year, every time we swim. I want to thank the SEALs one more time. Thank you, Flossie, for making this all come together. We've been dreaming this uh, event up for a long while. And uh, thank you so much for being here tonight and joining with, joining with us. And have a safe trip home. Thank you.
Um, I'm very excited to share this film with you. I've come to the end of about a year going around film festivals with this film. Um, it was from, as you will see, from uh, a couple years ago. Um, I am a freediver and YouTuber and filmmaker. Can you comment on your ability to raise money for these type of projects that are connected. When I put my film together, I had already started filmmaking for the basically the whole year before I looked at any kind of funding. Um, and the funding, we were like, oh, we want to put on screenings, and screenings cost money to do. Mm -hmm. You can't show your thing that you've made to an audience without paying somebody money to have somewhere beautiful to show it. Or um, even entering film festivals costs a ton of money. I spent three times the amount that it costs to make the film on entering it into film festivals just so that other people could see it. Just making those funds available, not just for projects and activities, but for mediums like film, but also supports to help encourage people to access those um, the water that they may not otherwise have access to is also really important. Yeah, Freediving is a real passion of mine, but I say get in the water and just snorkel first. Because once you get bitten by that easy bug to get access to, you get to start to see half of the creatures that were in my film. The nudibranchs and the crabs, there was a big tanner crab, snow crab in there, there's some moon snails, um, the, the rock crab, red rock crabs and the dungeness crabs. When it comes to what you choose to, to buy and to eat, look look at sustainable labels. They're not always perfect. Uh, if possible, if it's a fishmonger, talk to them, ask them where the, the, the species are coming from. Uh, local spot prawns can be sustainable, but some of the fishermen accidentally drop their traps in the sponges. Rockfish, the shorter the species, can be sustainable. When I made the film, I didn't know where it would get shown, which audiences would be interested, and even that I would be able to go to this many events. If you would like to join us and watch the film with me, I will be doing an online screening on World Ocean Day, and you are all invited to come along and join. There will be a link in the description box below to my website and on the screen here. Uh, if you want to get tickets and I hope to all see you there I hope you really enjoyed this episode please give it a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this slightly different piece of content but I'm here I'm doing it from my tiny house in this van that I built myself so like it, it comes full circle being a filmmaker and making films about this I make films about other things too and I'm really excited to share them with you I am becoming one with the Kraken.